acres. Today we're down in the vegetable garden and that is because we're going to be tearing out the high density bed so that we can plant some fall crops. Right now it is the end of July and the garden is looking really full. It has a lot of color into it. I actually just harvested out a bunch of gladiolas that snapped over from the rain. But today I'm going to come in and rip out the majority of this high density bed. I think I'll be able to leave some of this uh, chard and kale that's still going. But the tango leaf lettuce, the romaine, it's all bolting. The beets have to be done by now. I actually just kind of forgot about them, left them in here. So I'll pick these beets and get them to the animals. And then we have this gourd that's growing out through here. I've been picking some of the gourds and giving them to the animals. You can see that's what they look like. But it's kind of taken over this bed. It's not producing as much as I'd like. And it's pretty much completely taken over the carrots that I want to get into and get those out for the animals as well. So I'm going to rip this bed out. Whatever's good, I'm going to throw in the wagon and take up to the animals for a snack a little bit later. So stay tuned for that. And then I also want to get into the J bed because it needs a little bit of work right now too. Over here at the J bed, we do have all this broccoli that I've already harvested. Unfortunately, I did harvest all this broccoli last night and we tried to cook it up for dinner but it had cabbage moth worms all through it you can see these bugs are all over it right now too little spotted bugs doing their little mating dance all this broccoli had bugs in it so i want to tear it out it's not going to be any good for us but the animals can still eat it all these leaves are still edible for the animals we could actually eat the leaves if we wanted to but why? The cabbage, I did harvest some of these cabbage heads already for the animals. What I want to do is pull all this out as well and maybe even cut back that volunteer pumpkin plant. But we're going to get all this ripped out and planted for the fall as and well. And then my deals, Atlantic Giants, they're in there and they're doing fairly well. I do have one that has a pumpkin on it and I have it covered up with a shirt right there. A little red, white, and blue shirt just to keep the skin from getting hard from the sun. But uh, I'm not too happy with the way that the pumpkins turned out this year. I think I might need to slow down next year and plant a little bit more focused and go for what I really want to get. See a nice big pumpkin right here. That one's growing. Got another one in there. And the Dills Atlantic Giant is supposed to be a nice creamy yellow. These are green, so I don't know why they're green. But it looks like we have a rotted one up here. I want to try and get off the vine. Let's see here. Yeah, this one rotted right off the vine. Not enough calcium, I'm sure. Looks like something was digging in there as well. Maybe something knocked it off. I don't know. I'll throw this pumpkin in the wagon for the animals once I'm done. And it won't go to waste. Well, I'm going to set up the camera. We'll get everything ripped out. And then I'll show you what we got from the harvest that can go up to the animals. Because it's probably all woody and buggy and we don't want to be eating it. So this is all going to go up to the animals. Look at this hibiscus blooming though. All the blooms have been facing the garden every time it opens. But look how big and beautiful that is. That is a massive bloom. That's probably 8 inches across. Real big hibiscus. And this is just its first year. That's just going to keep getting bigger. Okay, so here we are, we got the bed all torn out. I got all the carrots, a lot bigger harvest of carrots than I was expecting, actually. A lot of them are twisted. Let me show you. Got a lot of them twisted, split, split and forked. So there's a bunch of different kinds here, but these uh, carrots were destined for the animals anyway. So they're all gonna taste the same, but there's a lot of carrots in there. We even got some that were 
pretty decent size. Where'd that big one go? Nice big old carrot right there. Good size. We got a whole handful of charred kale, lettuce, more than a handful. And then underneath the carrots, we got a bunch of beets. So there's probably too many beets to give to the pigs all right away. But uh, I'll give a, I'll give some of the uh, beets now, some later, so they don't take them all at once. And then we have a bunch of these little gourds. So these are edible gourds, but uh, they're all going to go to the animals because I don't really know how to eat them. And uh, I can just eat zucchini, I guess, if I want something like that. We also got some green onions, just a couple little ones that we'll keep for the garnishes on dinners so i did leave the kale and chard a lot of it can be bitter right now in the heat but as the temperatures come down and i keep harvesting it it will get back to a good flavored kale so i'm going to leave it go and i'm going to be starting some more as well i did leave this one pumpkin here which i probably shouldn't have because it's covered in powdery mildew but it's producing a little pumpkin so let me get that one off producing little pumpkins and I like having pumpkins for decoration so I'm gonna leave that one go see if I can get any more out of that also one. on the far side I left this real tall red romaine because I plan on getting some seeds off of this you can see it's about to puff some seeds real soon but we just had a rain so everything's kind of wet I want it to be dry when I collect the seeds from this on the corner here I left a Brussels sprout just to see if it would actually amount to anything I never grew a Brussels sprout before to fruition so we're just going to leave that go because it seems to be doing pretty well. And then we have a volunteer ground cherry that popped up over here on this corner. So I'm just letting it go and I'll get some food out of that as well. And we have some bunching onions that are still still doing just fine. So I left those oh. in. Almost lost a good sized carrot right here. Hump pop. I think that's the one I gave to Echo and Echo doesn't eat veggies. So all that's left to do here is I'm going to rake it all out nice and even. I have a little bit of mushroom compost over on the other side of that bed right there that I'm going to pick up and spread a nice little thin top layer and that's what I'll actually plant the seeds down into so we'll get that nice and evened out but I want to also get all my broccoli torn out so that's what's next I'm going to tear out all this broccoli and cabbage. This fennel is going wild here it's all going to flower and it looks like it's probably producing some seed pods here soon. Look at all those beautiful flowers. Real lacy and just hanging out. That's neat. It mumbles the goose up front, hanging out with the ducks in the right pen. We got all the egg chickens in the middle pen, and one's wandering out behind the turkey pen, which is on the left. And they're all doing pretty good out there. I have to keep them separated because the turkeys seem to keep picking on my chickens, and the ducks are scared of everything, so they keep separated too. But we'll be taking some food up to them here in a little bit. All this area is supposed to be wood chips and you can see how the grass is just taken over here. I've only been able to weed whack some of it down occasionally so uh, I really need to get a new batch of wood chips in here all spread out. I'm not sure I want to fabric this whole area because I already have the wood chips down but that might be the best thing to keep all these weeds back. had you sitting on a sunflower all right so we got the J bed pretty much cleaned up of cabbage and broccoli I reached into this volunteer squash mound we have here and pulled out a couple different kinds of pumpkins we got a kind of Cinderella flat pumpkin we have this striped pumpkins I think that one's another striped one it's just not as mature and then that one's even more mature and turned a little bit whiter and then we have this green pumpkin with an orange spot on it. I don't know what's up with that. It almost looks like a moon and stars watermelon, but uh, it's definitely a squash of pumpkins. Animals are going to love those ones. I might save the dark green one for decoration and the little Cinderella pumpkin, but I'll throw these other pumpkins to the pigs and they're going to love them. I got a big pile of heads of cabbages. There are some heads in there, so we're just going to save all those and throw them to the animals and they can pick out what they want. And we also got a massive pile of broccoli leaves. So I might just throw this whole pile of broccoli in with the ducks and the geese and just let them go to town on however much they want of it. It's looking like we have a lot more space here in the bed. The fennel is definitely ready to go. Look, oh, what is that? Look at that bug in there. Oh, caterpillar or something up there in the fennel. That's cool. It's bright green. I don't know if that's a negative 
species for the garden or a uh, positive species. If you know, let me know down below. But we also have all this fennel that's going to flower that's ready to be pulled out. I didn't get to it in time. It didn't really bulb up really nicely either, so I'm not sure what to do with fennel. Just as Jess would say, this is just my classroom and I'm growing everything to learn how to grow it. And then once I figure out what I like and what I want to grow, I'll be able to grow it and do it properly. But for now, I am just having fun growing all the different things and watching it grow. All right, I'm gonna get all this harvest collected up and piled up on the side so I can take it up to the barn a little bit later for feeding all the animals. But all that's left now is to come in and rake out the whole bed, get it nice and even, and then top it off with some fresh compost. And then I'll be able to plant out the fall garden. He knows I'm coming. Hey, Mumbles. I'm coming, buddy. All the ducks and the goose making noise. What's up, puppy? Hey, Mumbles. How's it going, buddy? How's it going, buddy? Yeah. Hey, ladies. How y'all doing? Eggers? What about you? You want some greens, Eggers? What are you doing up there, Sedgwick? Hey, turkey. What about all you, turkey? Yeah, you're getting big. You're starting to look like actual turkey now. You got long legs on you. All right, here you go, Mumbles. Big old batch of greens for you. I'll get the girls some. Here you go, Eggers. Settle in. There you go, ducks. I know you're gonna like it. You've had it before. Yeah, get in there, Mumbles. Get some of your greens. Get some for the turkey as well. Come on, turkey. There you go. Go after it. What was that? What'd you do, puppy? Did you scare him? There it is, that fantail coming up. Trying to strut. There's another, there's a white one strutting. We get you full on turkey mode. And grab some of this for the pigs as well. Pigs like broccoli. Hey pigs. What you doing guys? Hey pigs. What are you doing, Dot? What's up, Zeus? Hey Zeus, you stretching out, little pig. You guys want something to eat? There you go. Have some broccoli greens. Well, I get you some water. You're all out of water, pigs. Slow down, buddy. Happy pig. Hey, Zeus. Slow down, bud. Only one egg right now. What are you girls doing? What do you have for me, Regina? Two of them. Yeah, you ladies are slacking today. That's only four eggs today. We have 15 chickens, and uh, I think about 10 of them are laying right now. So, four eggs, that's a bit slacky. They kind of lay in the afternoon more than the morning, though. What are you doing? Go eat your greens, ladies. The ducks are all over those broccoli greens. The turkey are going at them, too. They're liking them. The turkey found something new to chew on. The ladies got nothing. All they want is some scratch grains and corn. And you get the water for the animals. Puppy, don't eat my turkey. So the turkey like coming over and drinking from the spout, but Echo Pup's spooking them away. What are you doing, buddy? You see, they keep coming up. Yeah, look at them. Yeah, puppy. Don't eat my turkey, bud. What are you doing, chickens? Why are you trying to steal the turkey food? Alright, that's probably... Is that blurry? 
All right, that's probably a long enough video for this time. We just did the harvest to feed the animals here, but we are going to be planting out the fall garden here in next video. So make sure you're subscribed down below. Hit that like button before you leave. You can see me, Mumbles, and Deco on the next one. Thanks for watching.